Hi, we're going to take a really quick look at a lighting automation that changes light colors based on a movie you're watching. It's a simple script. Basically, you just have a CSV file with a list of the color you want and what time to change. Then when the movie hits that spot, the light change color. It's pretty easy, but I think it's really fun and it's one of my favorite automations. Uh, these scene changes are scripted. So it's good for those movies that you own and you watch often. But if you're one of those people who never watches a movie more than once, or if you don't like setting these kinds of things up, this automation probably just isn't for you. To do this, you'll need Home Assistant, Node Red, Kodi 18.3 or older. That's important because right now the newer versions don't send time properly to Home Assistant. And obviously you'll need some color bulbs or LED strips. Strongly suggested to use local control like Tasmoda because if you're sending requests to the cloud, it's going to be slow and your timing will be off. Alright, to get started, download the file from the link below. Open the JSON file in a text editor and replace each instance of Kodi with a name of your Kodi media player. Then import it into Node-RED. Once you have that, go to your Home Assistant configuration file, find your Kodi media player, and add a line for scan interval of 3. This will increase the accuracy of the time reporting. Then go to your light area and add a light group named Movie Color Group. Add any color lights that you want to control during the movie, save your config changes, and then restart Home Assistant. The last thing is the path to store the CSV files. I just have mine set to a folder under the node red directory. If that doesn't work for your system or if you want them someplace else, just change that file name path in the two function nodes before the file nodes in the flow. To create a file, just play a movie. When you get to a spot where you want to change the light color, hit pause, change the color, hit the record button, and then hit play and continue on to your next lighting change. The next time you play the movie, the light color will change at that spot. Just remember, you're asking Cody to tell you the time every 3 or 4 seconds, and you're checking every 2 seconds. So it might be 8 or 9 seconds range in there, even more if you're using cloud lights. So I'd recommend using this for longer scenes that last at least a few minutes. If it's a quick flash or something on the screen, this method just is never going to work for that. It's not designed to. And finally, I'd recommend turning on a slow fade on your lights. This smooths out the transitions, which looks cool, and it hides any timing issues. If you have Tasmoda, just go to the console, then type Fade 1, and then Speed 11. That's all I got. I hope this was useful to a few people. Bye.